Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from Kramer Electronics. Today we're going to discuss setting Knet IDs on Kramer room controllers using Kramer Kconfig software. First we're going to take our controller, for this example we're using an RC63DL, we're going to power it on, connect the USB from the RC63DL to the PC. Once that's done we're going to open Kramer Kconfig software and we're going to add a device to the device tree. So we click on the plus sign to add a device. We select what device we're going to use. For this example, RC63DL. And once we do that, we're going to try to connect to our unit. So to do this, we go to device and connect. And then we select what COM port we're connected to. In this case, it's COM13, which is automatically detected because the unit is connected and turned on. So we hit OK. And it prompts us to say that our CANET ID is set to 2 right now and we need to change it to 1 in order to be a master panel. So OK, so we go back to our device tree here. We're going to right click on our panel, the RC63DL, and set Knet ID. So we're going to connect again. COM port fills in. And we're going to set this Knet ID to 1. As a general rule of thumb, Knet ID 1 is for a master device and Knet IDs 2 and higher are for auxiliary devices. Say OK. And now the process is done. All we have to do is take our unit, disconnect the USB cable, and reboot the power. Unplug the power supply, plug it back in, and then we're good to go. Once we do that, device connect, and then we can program it according to our plans. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact your local Kramer Electronics office or go to KramerElectronics.com. Thank you for joining us.